Hi, in this tape what we're going to do is take the combinations from tape number one and tape number two and take them one step further. We'll give you combinations that you can work on the pads with and then we'll take it another step further and go into some basic throws, takedowns and joint manipulations. Okay, in this first combination what we'll do is have the feeder kick to me and we're going to use the shield to defend the kick, okay? Rather than sacrifice the arm or lower the arm down to protect against the kick, which will expose my head, I will just lift the shield up to guard against the kick. Lifting it up on a 45 degree angle, keeping my hands up, up to my elbow, bringing the knee up to the elbow. So one, crash into it. Then you can step into your cross, into your hook, deliver the right elbow, Right from here, again, grab, right knee, choke out in the guillotine, okay? One more time. Defending the right kick, one, step in, two, three, right elbow, four, grab here, my hand snakes around, grabbing, fingers together on my forearm, look back, and arch the body for the guillotine. Okay. Again. Okay, in our next combination, we're going to defend against a left kick. Okay, it could be any kind of a left kick, uh, it really doesn't matter, but we will cross shield using the lead leg and we bring it over to block the leg strike. Okay, keeping the hands up, bringing the leg over to shield, again stepping in with the same combination, defending against the left kick. So one, cross shield, step into the cross, hook, right elbow, same material. Again, on this side. Defending against the left kick now, keeping the hands up because the kick may come high if the person's a high kicker. Even though you shield, you may be open for the jaw. Okay, so one, two, three, step. Hit with the right elbow, grab, right knee, fingers together. Look back, okay?
Leben. Okay, in this combination we're going to learn how to defend against a midline kick, whether that be the foot jab or the front kick. Okay, the first defense is if the person comes in, you can use that cross shield, okay, which is just going to knock over to the side. Again, one. And then you can go in to the same combination. Again, one, two, three. You can hit with the knee, left elbow, right elbow. Once again, one, using the same defensive tool that you just did. Okay, other side. You see this one is just going to go from left to right, knocking it, cross hook, right left, and right knee to follow. Okay. On the side. Okay, in this next one, we're going to continue to defend against a midline attack. Now, whether the foot jab comes or the front kick, knocking it down with the lead hand. Again, kind of a circular motion to lift your hand back up right away to protect yourself. You can go with the right kick right away to the thigh. Again, moving out, parry down, right kick. And then you can continue with any of the combinations that we worked on in the second tape, meaning left kick, cross, hook. Now the right knee can go to the thigh also. It doesn't have to go to the rib cage, it can go to the thigh, which can, will give you this line here, okay, which could, you can stomp to finish it up. So again, one, right kick, mm. come back, left kick, cross, hook, knee to the thigh, zone out here, foot sweep, to the knee stomp or the stomp here. Okay, now, if you find the individual doesn't go down all the way but just simply drops to the knee, you can go to the rear choke from there. So, one, two, maybe continue, hit, 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 working your way in. Now that you're inside, if he simply drops to the knee, this can smash, guillotine from here or choke from here. And this could be after this, could be this side. One, two, behind, or one, two, behind. Once again from the other side. Pairing the midline attack, moving out, hand it back up. Hit, hit with the left kick, cross, hook, knee, because this is exposing itself. Here, step to the side, sweep it out, to kick here. If the body's upright still, if the body's up, choke. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and out to the choke. Okay.
Okay, next technique. Stemming off the defense of the jab cross using the straight knee. Parry the one, straight knee in. That's the root motion. One, two. Now if your momentum brings you forward, you can push him forward. Okay, you see how he moves that right foot there to counter. I want to keep the body turned like that and you can take the lead leg out. Okay, again. One, two. If you go forward, you move the body forward. Make sure the body's twisted this way. Okay, so this is here. And then from here, sweeping the front leg. Okay, taking it easy on my partner, the foot is swept hard. Okay, again, from the other side. This is the root motion, one, two. You already know you can continue with the elbow strike or punch strikes from here. But we will add the take down, one, two. Manipulating the body to go this way. And then the foot sweep here. This can be the, the stomp here like that, or you can stomp with this foot. Okay, again. One. Mm. Move the body. The body must move this way. Foot comes out, stomp, stomp. Okay. On the other side. Okay, our next technique is going to stem off another defense off the right kick. If the person kicks to the right, you step off and cut kick with the left kick. Again, cut kick with the left kick. One more time. From this side, hand up, step out, and then you can follow it up with a cross hook combination. One, two, three. Again, one. Four, five, and then the knee to follow. One more time. Stepping out, hand up. Cross, hook, right knee. After the right knee, if you step down, kidney slap here, pull the leg out to the stomp again. Now we're foot sweeping on the other side. One, two, three, four. Knee comes down. You manipulate your body, the body slightly to the right, exposing this leg for the foot sweep. Again, stomp with this leg, stomp with this leg. One more time, on the other side, the person kicks. You zoning, cut kicking. You see where I'm stepping forward on the cut kick. One, two, three, four, five. Stepping down this way. Taking the foot here. Stomp.
Okay, on our next combination, we're going to stem it off our basic boxing techniques and into our elbow combinations. So, parry the jab, parry the cross, and we're covering the hook line here. Once again, on the basic tape, one, two, three. Step up, hit with the left elbow, hit with the right elbow, can grab from here, right knee. If your knee steps down, you see where I can pick up the arm here. And then we're going to turn the head so that the head is down and the arm is up here. Dropping the person here can finish up with the left knee at this position. Once again, take it off the combination of jab, cross, hook, left elbow, right elbow, right knee. Turning the person, drop the knee here, can hit here. This can be your arm lock, okay? This is already locked position. Again, on the other side, jab, cross, cover. Step up, hit with the left elbow, hit with the right elbow, grab. Knee from here. So what I'm going to do is pick up the arm here so that the head is down at 6 o'clock and the head is at, or the arm is up at 12 o'clock, the head is at 6. You push it this way, drop the knee down. This could be arm lock. First basic, okay? One more time. One, two, three. Left elbow, right elbow. This can be the right knee. Turning the body. This can be drop knee, hit, arm, lock. Okay, this next one is going to stem off the defense of the knee strike. So if your partner maybe strikes at you with the jab cross and then into the right knee, see how you're going to scoop this out with the rear hand. Again, one, two, scoop. Now from here, my right arm will trace around the neck, secured by the left hand. Elbow down, head down, secure the position. Now from here, we can lock down on the neck against the pressure point here. Or we can do the curved knee, the knee strike into the thigh, straight knee strike into the thigh, curved knee into the thigh, curve our knee into the rib cage, curve our knee into the thigh this way, curve our way, uh, our knee into the uh, rib cage here. Okay, now from this position, after the knee strike, one, two, or three, four, just put a couple strikes in. You step behind here. Get your hip behind. Person is down. Now, when he's down, you see how this hand is here? This hand, let's go, grabs this hand. Put the knee down. 
lock the arm in this position. Okay? Again. One, two, defend against from here. Again, hit, hit, step, take down, grabbing here, keeping this position tight, locking. Show you on the other side. One, two, three, elbow down, hit. Hit. Take down. Knee. Grab. Lock down. Okay. Hand up. Starting position. Hit. Grab. Right away. Hit. Hit. Take down. Pick up the lock. Other side. Grab. Hit. Grab. Hit. Grab. Hit. Okay, this next technique is going to stem off the jab cross. So we will parry, cover. Or what we could do at this point is one, come duck in and lift up with the elbow. This can hit with the right elbow and then knee again. From the knee position, the left hand will come up under the arm, assisted by the right hand. You see how this is going to pull and then this will lock it down in this position here. Okay, making sure your hand is up at the elbow joint. Okay, because if it's here at the shoulder, he can reverse this thing quickly. Okay, so this is here at this position. Okay, a lot of times if the person wants to stand up from here, okay, you can. Bring it across here to choke in this position. Okay, so again, one, two, three. Knee into arm lock here. This position for the lock. From the other side, parry one, either upward elbow or cover. Right elbow, knee, this is under, pulling here, or pulling from this side, either under or over. Bending the arm to this position, either locking it here 
or if he lifts up, locking down here for the choke. Again, one, two, three, four, five, and the choke, six. Okay, this next technique, we're going to take off the same root motion, but then add a throw. Okay, so from here, one, inside elbow cover, or just cover. See? Hit with the right elbow, knee again. So from this basic right here, okay, so my left foot is forward. You can foot sweep in this position here. You can drag him towards you to secure this one here. Okay, and you put the wrist lock in here also. This is shoulder lock and wrist lock. Okay, for in seal team, we use this a lot for handcuffing. Okay, all right. Okay, one, two, three. Hit with the knee. Pick the arm up here. Foot forward. Foot sweep. Dragging towards you to secure this position. Pick up the hand here for the lot. So you have both the shoulder locked and the wrist locked. Okay. One more time, slowly. One, two, maybe cross hook, right elbow, knee. One, two, pull, secure.
Okay, we're gonna take the next throw off of the jab cross combination again. Okay, from one, I may work to the outside to hit with the elbow here like that, hit. We're gonna take the same takedown and do some grappling techniques. Okay, so you've had this takedown already. But from this position, if I turn you a little bit so the camera can see here, after the knee strike here, from, the, from this position we'll go to what we call uh, side position here, Kasukatami position. Now, the first one that I'd like you to do is work on the, where you take his right arm, tuck it under your knee here for this first one, okay? And from here, you can then crank the head backwards for shoulder lock, okay? That's the first one. From the top again. Okay, once again, one. Parry to the outside of the cross, hit, knee, into the same takedown position. This could be the knee here. Okay, if we go to the ground from here, okay, the first position could be here where I retain the arm here with the knee. And from the left hand can pull the head backwards, putting the lock on the shoulder. Okay, now from the ground here, this was one basic lock, or from this position, what we could do is go into the choke or guillotine, which is right here. Okay, okay you see that position is here. And sometimes you can grab your own arm, press downward. Okay, another position, cross body position. Okay, so from this side, we can do the same lock that we did with the leg with the arm. I grab the arm here. I put the arm under and slide back. Once again, grab, arm under, hand back. Make sure your fingers are together. You go under the arm, grab your own arm, and you keep the elbow close to the body and slide the arm back. Okay, this same position can be done, or this same lock can be done from the mounted position. Maybe after the throw, when you, you stomped here, you wanted to go to the mount position, okay? Now, if the hand presents itself here, you can do the same one here on this side, or you can do the same one on this side. Okay, once again from the top. Try from this side. One, two, hitting with the elbow to the knee. We go into the takedown. This can be the hit here. This can be arm lock. And we can go down into this first lock. OK, taking it easy on your partner. Or you can go like that or like that. OK, the same lock, if we turn this way a little bit, can be applied. If you don't have a solid position here, you don't feel secure, you can go to the side body position. Now, if the arm is up, okay, or if we call this branch up, from here, hand goes under, pulling down. Same lock. If you see the leg is here, form the same lock on this side, so that when we go to here, the same lock is formed. Now, if we end up in the mount position, from here, the same lock again. Grabbing cross, my left to his left. Arm under, slide. This side, crossing. Arm under, slide. Okay, the guillotine or the choke that we talked about from the side body position here could also be applied from the mount position as well. Okay, this could be in here, grabbing on the throat. Or it could be this arm under, forming the base. This arm on top, pressing down for the choke. Grabbing your arm here, sliding downward. Okay? Okay, one more time. From this position, one, two, if I hit, when I knee and when I take down, I may go right to the side body position and right into this lock from here. And then from here, maybe I mount to go to this position or to go to this position here, okay? 
or maybe from the top when we go into it here like that one two I go right to the mount this can be hit or lock one if it presents itself this could be the hit here as I go into it this could be the hit here as I go into it okay or it can be punch punch into it punch punch into it and then again from here we have our choke left hand under right hand on top right hand under left hand on top Okay, in conclusion, I'd like to thank you for watching the tape. I would like to thank uh, our instructor, uh, Master Chai Surasut. He's the president of the Thai Boxing Association of the United States, which we've gotten most of our standing material from, um, and Guru Dana Asano, who has given us our weaponry training and our training in Jeet Kune Do concepts. Uh, again, thank you for watching the tape, and good luck in your training.